I'm glad y'all came back. Now let's go ahead and dig into it. All right, so these are chicken thighs, and what I'm actually doing is removing the skin from them. This is an optional step. It's highly recommended um, to get it removed. Uh, you do not have to be a pro with it. Just make sure you get it all removed. I didn't go to culinary school, y'all, so I'm just doing what I know best. <laughs> And I know y'all see my gloves. Um, this is a new add-on as well. There's a lot of stuff that I'm about to start changing. So just be on the lookout for the glow up. All right, so now let's dig into the seasoning. So that mixture I just put on those bad boys. Um, that would be paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, Italian seasoning. I did clean the chicken first. Um, you can use water, vinegar, and a little lemon juice. Um, but you just make sure that you get it um, all over the chicken. Y'all know how I am with the seasoning. Alright, so you just make sure that you mix it really well. Um, I like for my chicken to be evenly coated. See, I like for you to be able to tell that it's seasoned. <laughs> so then I came to my cast iron skillet. It was on medium heat. I did coat it with some olive oil. Um, so then I added the chicken breast in. I'm going to let y'all hear that sizzle too. All right, y'all, so we're good maybe 10 minutes in. And what I do is just keep flipping it over. So you're going to constantly do this. Um, I do it maybe every five minutes. I just make sure I turn them over because I want them to be evenly um, browned. I want them to have that nice little look to it. So um, just keep turning them over. And you're going to do this for at least um, 20 more minutes. Alright, so y'all see that baby right there? That's the goal. Well, at least that's my goal. You can make your goal whatever, but I like when mine's have that nice little, you know, it looks crispy, it looks really seasoned, it looks really good. That's, the, that's what I like right there. See, that's the kind of texture that I go for. So I remove them from the skillet. Okay, so you plate them to the side, and let's get into the fun part. So that's one tablespoon per usual, y'all, of minced garlic. Um, and I have it on medium heat as well still. So I don't know what happened to my video. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I added in some frozen mixed vegetables. Um, you know, sometimes I go the lazy way. Sometimes I go the fresh way. It's all the same. So then what I have there is called roasted garlic um bullion i'll add it to the um the comments as well so it was roasted garlic so i added maybe two tablespoons of that and i just made sure i mix it well so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some heavy whipping cream that's about one cup one cup and a half um so you make sure you just start mixing it well all right, so then you'll start seeing your color come in pretty quick, um, which is a good thing. Um, you don't have to let this get thick or anything because once you add in your chicken thighs, it's all going to do the work itself. So um, you make sure you just mix it good. Also, the mixed vegetables was an add-on. Any other time I've made this dish, I did not um, add any vegetables to it. So this is another one of those um one of those things that you can choose to do or not to do. But, I mean, I'm not going to lie. When I had it this way, I will not not add vegetables again. Um, the vegetables will be here to stay. <laughs> All right. So, I did add another tablespoon of the, um, the bouillon. Like I said, y'all also have to bear with me, too. Because when I'm cooking and I'm recording the videos, I'm making it off the top of my head. I'm not going off a recipe. So, sometimes you will see me go back and add more seasoning. You will see me go back and add more milk, more cheese, or etc. But, you know, just bear with me. Because I'm, I'm in here just whipping in the kitchen, not following off nothing. You know, just going for what I know. Alright, so this is the color that you want it to be. I did come a little closer for you. So this is the look that you're going for. And you do not have to have a lot of sauce because like I said, it's going to go a long way. So then what you're going to start doing is adding your cooked chicken thighs back to the pot. 
um, you can do this one or two ways. You can actually kind of move the juice out of the way and then, um, you know, add the chicken, then add the juice back. It's up to you. Um, this is just the way that I do it. I was using a spatula. Like I said, I was just in there doing something. So, um, yeah, you can do it whatever way is more convenient for you. But this is just the way that I decided to do it. So you just make sure that you get it all covered evenly, okay? So y'all already know how I roll. Let me go ahead and kill y'all with some visuals. But this is um visuals of them still in the pot. Man, when I tell y'all this dish is so delicious. I cannot wait for y'all to try it and let me know how y'all feel about it. But let me shut up and let y'all look at it for yourself. So what I decided to do was pair this with some red potatoes. I'll drop a video for those as well soon. And um, some canned glory greens. Y'all know, like I said, glory be my girl. So anytime is anything coming from a can, it's definitely coming from glory. But look, you can pair it with anything. Well, all right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. If you cooked this dish and you loved it, drop how you feel about it in the comments. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, y'all. Bye.